Hey folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatoria. So recently I did a popular video concerning the fight at the Tower of Joy between Sir Arthur Dane and Ned Stark's men. And one of the points that came up was I complained about the fact that Sir Arthur Dane stuffed his longsword into the ground. And particularly when it's stony, sandy ground, this is not a good thing to do with a sword. It bluntens the tip, bluntens part of the edges, and makes your sword less effective. And I also complained about the fact that the sword pierced straight through what appears to be a coat of plates, that is steel plates riveted on the inside of a leather garment. And lots of people said, hey Matt, neither of those things matter, it's a similar to a Valyrian steel sword. It might not be Valyrian steel, but it has similar properties, it might be, you know, meteoric steel. And uh, this sword is called Dawn, incidentally. And uh, I said, you know, fair enough, let's, let's accept that it's a, akin to a magical sword. Not magical uh, literally, but there's some kind of physical property to this steel, which means it doesn't matter if it's stuffed in the ground, and it is able to thrust through armour, if we accept that those are things. And people also said that, you know, Valyrian steel swords, or at least Arthur Dane's sword as well, don't need sharpening. Well... Um, if we then look at Brienne's sword, we know that she's got a Valyrian steel sword, of course, given to her by Jaime Lannister, and we know that that sword does, in fact, cut through a steel sword. So whatever kind of um, amazing properties this metal has, it's clearly able to defeat steel. Um, so therefore, you know, stuffing it in the ground possibly doesn't matter, even though I would argue that someone who's a practiced swordsman uh, and possibly wouldn't have had Valyrian steel or something like Valyrian steel for their whole lives, by, by practice and by training wouldn't stuff their sword in the ground because it's just a bad thing to do with your weapons. Um, but nevertheless, we can see that Brienne's sword can cut successfully through an, a steel sword. But now, if we look at um, Jon Snow's sword, um, obviously Longclaw, famous sword, we know that that is a Valyrian steel sword. Um, and, of course, we know that it has special properties against White Walker's weapons. But what do we find here? But Jon Snow is sharpening his sword. What does this all mean? Does it mean Valyrian steel does, in fact, need sharpening? Or does it literally mean that Jon Snow really doesn't know anything at all? Maybe Jon Snow really knows nothing. Uh, and <laughs> possibly he's um, sharpening, attempting to sharpen the sword and just not getting anywhere. But it does raise the question, does Valyrian still need sharpening? Does it not need sharpening? If you can't sharpen it, or if it doesn't need sharpening, then what would you shape it with? How would you how would you forge it? How how would you form the edges? How would you make it in the first place? I would argue that any metal that's able to be made into a, a blade shape with the level of technology that they have available to them is therefore, if it's shapeable, it will also blunten with use. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> unless Jon Snow literally knows nothing, um, it, it would suggest that if we take it at face value, the Valyrian still does indeed need sharpening. And if we look at uh, Ned Stark, we can see, lo and behold, Ned Stark also sharpened his Valyrian steel sword. And we know, of course, that in fact, that Valyrian steel from that sword went on to be used to make both Joffrey's sword and Jaime Lannister's sword that becomes Brienne's sword. So we have a paradox here and an inconsistency. On one hand, we're told that Valyrian steel doesn't need sharpening and always stays sharp. Um, and can cut through other swords and armour, and according to the show, can be stuffed into stony ground without concern. And yet, on the other hand, it needs sharpening, um, presumably because it bluntens. So, there we go, folks. Make of that what you will. I would say a piece of steel or a piece of metal that can be shaped by craftsmen can also be bluntened by use. Cheers, folks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and feel free to follow us on Facebook.